For more on all this, let's bring in Idaho Republican Senator Jim Risch. He chairs the Foreign Relations Committee and also serves on the Intelligence Committee. Mr. Chairman, good morning to you and, and great to have you here this morning as we kick things off talking about Iran and what is viewed as the growing threat there. What about those missiles? What can you tell us about what we are seeing? Well, uh, first of all, I would caution. Uh, there's uh, widely reported that these missiles are, are, are what is triggering everything. Look, there is a wide range of uh, intelligence information gathered from many different sources in many different ways uh, that have encouraged the president to take precautionary action. So I, I'd, be, I'd be very cautious about saying, oh, look, we have a picture and it's all based on a picture of some missiles. That is not the case at all. It is, it is wide ranging information and it isn't something that has just happened. It's something that has been building uh, as uh, Iran has come under more and more and more pressure. Uh, as much domestically uh, as uh, as internationally. So that so that as John Roberts just laid out at the White House, um, Mr. Chairman, the question is whether those those missiles are a provocation or a reaction to warnings coming from the United States. Can you tell us any further on that? You know, I really can. Uh, th these are the things we study. The, the photos are studied and what have you, but. It is common knowledge that the Iranians are using proxies, uh, both the Houthis uh, uh, from Yemen uh, and uh, uh, groups from uh, other places, Hezbollah uh, notoriously uh, from Lebanon, to do their dirty work for them. Uh, they pay them, they, uh, they are their sponsors, their chief sponsors, uh, sometimes their only sponsors. Uh, that's true with Hamas also. And uh, they encourage them and they use them uh, to do bad things to Americans uh, and American interests at their direction. Uh, you're all, whenever you see missiles moving, uh, you want to be very cautious uh, that this isn't the incipient stages of, of one of those attacks. Uh, but again, I want to caution everyone that don't use these pictures, don't use just the missile uh, information to say this is what's causing the uh, the heat to be generated at this point. You know, the president was asked to respond on the ground yesterday about reports that he and his team were planning to send over 100,000 U.S. troops to counter Iran if necessary. Um, he shut that down, uh, but then he sort of stirred a little bit more controversy with his reaction by saying, would I do that? Absolutely. What are our options um, as a country to respond to what we are seeing? Well, uh, you know, in a, when you're doing news like this, uh, they ask a, the president a specific question and he responds to that question and then everybody analyzes it. The fact of the matter is America uh, constantly, 24 hours a day, works on preparedness, works on plans, and those are uh, molded by what's happening in a different place in the world at any one time. Uh, the, the president was asked a couple of questions. He responded to that. It's been greatly analyzed. I've seen it. You've seen it. Um, the, the, look, this president is very focused on, on protecting Americans and American interests around the world. He has a great team in place that analyzes what the threats are. And as threats arise or potential threats uh, uh, rear their ugly head, uh, plans are made, contingencies are, are put in place. And, and I think that's what he was talking about as, as much as anything. And that's probably about all I can say on that subject. Chairman yeah, Rich, it, it, well, it's great to have you answer <laughs> thank you. Uh, to all of that. We really appreciate your time this morning, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Good to be with you.